Hi, uh, welcome all of you. So in this session, we are going to talk about uh, basic symbols and operators in MATLAB. So coming to here, uh, we can see a list of basic symbols which are displayed here on screen. So here, uh, first one is a semicolon, which is used to suppress data and also to create new rows in matrices in an array. So we will talk about that later. So let's uh, just uh, talk about uh, the basic symbols, what they are and what uh, we use for that and uh, next symbol we can see here percentile symbol actually we use this symbol to comment the lines in matlab scripts and next we have this uh, colon it is used to denote range it has lots of importance in matlab and we will talk about this colon in detail when we go with the next uh, upcoming sessions and here uh, the next symbol what we see here is uh, flower brackets so we use this flower brackets to create uh, cell arrays or structure arrays actually they are the different types of uh, data types in matlab that we will talk in detail later and next symbol we have here uh, a dot so this is used for uh, array operations or vectorization okay and the next symbol we have that is uh, assignment operator we know this equal sign and next we have square brackets opening and closing square brackets we use this uh, brackets to create arrays in matlab the array may be a one dimensional vector or a two dimensional vector and we use the single quotes uh, in MATLAB to denote the strings in MATLAB. So next uh, we will talk about uh, arithmetic operators in MATLAB. So here uh, the first operator what we have in our operators is addition. So let me show you with some example. Uh, before that I will use CLC to clear the screen and then I will say 4 plus 5. Okay this is how this arithmetic operator works in MATLAB. And next we have uh, subtraction operator like I will use uh, 5 minus uh, 3 and I'm able to get the result. So this is about a subtraction operator and next we have multiplication operator like 4 into 3. Okay, so we can see the answer here after multiplication and the next operator we have right division. So next is uh, right division. Uh, we use uh, let us say like 4 by two so this is the answer we are getting and next uh, we have left division so like uh, for example two left divided by four and so this is the answer i'm getting here and uh, exponential symbol exponential operator we have uh, i can use this like two power four so this is the answer and next uh, we can also do this uh, right division we can also do this uh, left division on matrix data like the a slash p okay similarly we can do all these operations so these are the arithmetic operators which comes in matlab uh, next we talk about the precedence uh, level as we all know the precedence level it uh, defines the order in which the expressions are simplified or executed so here a priority is assigned for each kind of uh, operators we can see here uh, the parenthesis has the highest uh, priority in precedence level and next we have exponentiation and next we have uh, priority for multiplication and division and at the end at the last we have the priority for addition and subtraction so this is the precedence level order which takes place uh, while evaluating the expressions in MATLAB so next we go for uh, relational operators as we can see here uh, we have different relational operators in MATLAB like uh, less than less than or equal greater than greater than or equal and uh, equality and not equal so here results of these relational operators they are boolean uh, either the uh, result will be true or false it may be one or zero so let me show you one example like four is less than five so we are getting answer one that is it's true so if the condition is true we are going to get logical one output if the condi condition is false we are going to get logical zero output so this is how the output of relational operators we get in boolean form either true or false that is one or zero okay so next we talk about logical operators so here we use this a symbol for logical AND operation and this symbol for logical OR operation and this for logical NOT operation and we can also see uh, they are using the symbol one time here to do logical AND and OR so the 
difference here why we need to use two times and uh, why we need to use one time or where we need to use one time so it's just simple like uh, if you are doing logical and operation on scalars we need to make use of this uh, logical and symbol two times and if you are doing that uh, logical and operation on vectors we need to make use of this uh, logical and symbol one time so let me show you one example like uh, for example i have x is equal to 1 y is equal to 0 so i have a uh, scalar values x and y uh, 1 and 0 let me do some logical and operation on this so i need to use double ampersand two times uh, with y so this is nothing but logical and operation we are doing with x and y so the answer is 0 because x is 1 and y is 0 logical and of 1 and 0 is 0 right so similarly if i have a vector okay so if i have a vector like x is equal to uh, 1 1 0 1 fine so if i have another vector like y is equal to 1 0 0 1 right so i have two vectors a uh, logical vectors and i need to do logical and operation or or operation on these two uh, logical vectors then i need to use that logical and operator symbol just one time uh, like this like i can use here x ampersand y and here is the output okay so it's clear that uh, we have uh, two logical operators and and or operators and we know when to use this uh, double symbol and when to use the single symbol okay this is about uh, uh, operators uh, in matlab as well as uh, uh, the symbols in matlab so uh, we will be uh, talking about the next topics uh, in the upcoming sessions uh, thank you